Hi, I'm Alice. Welcome to Dollyvana. Today I have some more Boot Fair dolls to show you and also some dolls that I actually bought in shops. To get started, the doll that I found in the one pound bin this week. Yes, it's Rapunzel from Tangled and look, her hair. It needed a minor brush at the ends, but it's in perfect condition. And so is her face. She even still has her little shoes rubber banded on. Very, very pleased with this doll. Now in the three for five bin, I bought some dolls that I'd sort of had my eye on for a while and then I kept seeing dolls that I liked more. But these are dolls again that I did not recognize at all. I have to say I really enjoy going online and looking them up and finding out what these dolls are. So doll number one, I believe that she is Gabriella from Disney's High School Musical. If I can get it to focus on her face. If that's not in focus, I'll put another picture in at the end. Obviously, she's not wearing her original outfit. I don't know where this outfit comes from, but one of the reasons I wanted her was the outfit. It's so cute. She's a little teddy bear in her pocket. Now, doll number two is actually Emma who is Cindy's friend. Now, her hair is in slightly tough shape and it feels like not that great a fiber to begin with. If you look at her face, she's got little glittery eyeshadow and it was evident to me even in the bag that this had to be her original outfit. And in fact it is. She's got little snow boots, tights, very cute coat. Now she is Emma from Winter Sleigh Fun, Cindy and Emma. She's actually marked Pedigree Toys, or uh, PD&T? Yeah, 2002 PD&T on the back. So she's not made by the same company that made last week's Cindy, and you can see her face is also considerably different. And um, yeah, so anyway. Another doll that I'd never heard of. Now, saving the best for last, her hair needs a little bit of work. You can see it was in a very, very curly style and it's in some disarray and feels a bit sticky. So I don't know. I'm hoping I don't have to wash it, but we'll see. But this is a Cassie doll. Now, I completely missed out on these. Um, I don't know, I guess I just wasn't collecting dolls at the time because you know I love these little dolls. They came in a box that was like a video cassette shape that apparently folds out and you can put them together to make doll houses. How cool is that? So she has fairly good arm articulation. They move up and down and out and she has quick knee joints that still work. No shoes, but she is wearing her original dress, which also helped with the identification. Um, she's got a face that reminds me of old Skipper dolls. So I'm very tempted now to go on eBay and buy one that actually comes boxed so I can see what the cassette boxes are like. So we'll see. If I do that, I'll show you. And then I went to shops this week. They weren't the kind of shop where I would do a video. It was Argos and TK Maxx, but I finally caved and decided to get this Reboot Abby doll. And I'm actually very happy that I did. Again, I don't know how much glare I'm getting here, uh, but I really do like her face. I'll probably end up doing a comparison video. Actually, comment down below if you'd like a comparison video with Reboot Abby and the older Abbeys. I did have to go to four branches of Argos to find one that had Abby, three Rochelles, and then finally an Abby. And the other one I bought, TK Maxx, Bumblebee, who I'd actually been kind of wanting her. And then for the past couple of weeks, I've been really wanting her because now let me consult my note. Here we go. Yes, Hasbro who do the Transformers, 
where there is a Transformer called Bumblebee, who will apparently be starring in a movie next year, are suing DC Comics for trademark violation for calling a doll Bumblebee, because you are totally going to think that she is a Transformer? I don't know. Anyway, chances are they're just going to do maybe a name change or something that the sites I've been reading don't think that it will be anything huge. But just in case, yes, I've made sure to get a Bumblebee doll. So that is this week's doll purchases. I think she is definitely my favorite of the lot. I hope I can get her hair sorted out. So for now, it's bye from Cassie and bye from me. Thanks for watching and see you next time.